A lot of people understand the WOG lifestyle. A lot of people like the WOG clothing, the WOG look of things, but they're not willing to take the final steps, the most essential steps of being a WOG, which is controlling your influences. People are still watching lots of TV. Well, I just like this show and I just like that show. Okay, that's fine. If you want to watch the shows, buy the DVDs. Acquire the programs without the programming. That's a good idea. But what's not a good idea is for you to keep accepting all this influence into your life. Your brain is an engine. It's cells and matter and neurons that have processes that people are placing millions of dollars into to hack your head. And the more ports you have open, the more vulnerable you are. First of all, you need to read. You need to read and you need to read the right things. Yes, okay, fine. If you're not reading at all, you can read whatever you want. Don't read magazines for God's sakes. Read something, well, unless it's an ad magazine like Adbusters or something like that, but don't don't read mainstream. You can't. You've got to read, there's all kinds of books, all kinds of fiction, non-fiction, literature that explains what, read, re, have you read 1984? Have you actually read 1984? Everyone talks about George Orwell's 1984. Have you read it? Probably not. So read the book. Read Snow Crash. Read Islands in the Net. Read all these books that are like prophecy. We need to read these things. You need to read into your reality. You need to be able to read into your reality. This is the whole point. If you can't control what goes into your brain, then you're not going to control what comes out of your mouth. This is just very basic common sense. The whole point of being a wog doesn't start out here with your clothing. It starts up here. It's all in the mind. You've got to get outside of the box and so that you can look at the box and help others get outside of the box. That's how we're gonna win this thing. We can't just stand back and let corporations walk all over us and the core political mindset just govern what we see, hear, and read. Ben Mendickian's Media Monopoly said that by this time, only seven people would control everything we see, hear, and read. Seven people. So what are you missing? What's going on in the world? I do the best I can, but there's only so much I can do. You have just as much capability as I do to infiltrate into society, to infiltrate into the core political structure, to infiltrate into the world. Find this information out. Get this information to who? To the fellow Wong so we all become stronger. This is what independent media is for. Don't hate the media, become the media. But before we can do any of that, you have to control your influences. What makes youth say what is cool? What defines cool to you? Who tells you cool? Is it the television? Is it the Oscars? Is it, you know, modern films that are coming out in multi-million dollar megabuck theaters? Is that what's telling you what's cool? All the little soda cans and everything all strategically placed? None of that is, is by accident. None of that's by accident. We all have role models for people that don't exist. That's who we're all trying to be. It's a nightmare. I don't know how that works. How did that happen? That's not what I wanted, but yet we all believe it. And what's worse is we know we believe it. We know it's wrong and there's nothing we can do about it. That's insane. That's insane. It doesn't make any sense. I don't know how that works. Yet, everyone just kind of blind moves along, accepting more and more data. That's fire hose for you. They turn the fire hose on, everyone takes from there. You only get what comes out of the fire hose. You have to spread out. You have to make sure that you explore other options. Fringe thinkers, fringe idea, fringe artists. Yeah, there's a lot of wackos out there, and maybe I'm one of them. But the point is, you have to go to external media sources. You have to control what goes into your mind. It's your choice. It's your head. If you don't decide what programs your personality, you can guarantee someone else will. My name is Sean Kennedy, and I am the fucking man.